Hey everybody, this video brings me and oh my gosh, Patricia, she is, she is back. We are at the Lehigh Valley Toy Comic and Card Show. This place is insane. Every time they do a thing here, a show here, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You should just be in here. Now it's here, it's out in the hall. I'm actually set up right there on the hall. And there's another little, there's celebrities now. There's another little section over there. You have the, there's a Power Ranger, the Iron Sheik is here. So it's it's getting insane. It's it's getting awesome. It's getting amazing. If you guys have not been out to the show, you honestly should get out here and check it out. So we're gonna walk around. I'm gonna look for some movies, maybe maybe a toy or two, and of course, tons and tons and tons of of Flintstones. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go see what we can find. We've been looking for all the four seconds, and already we're finding Flintstones. It's from the live action movie, your all time favorite. I mean, I like movie. And I do like Rosie O'Donnell. It's only, but... it's only $8 for the set. Look, it's got Rosie O'Donnell. It's got Rick Moranis. It's got the little kid. No, you know the, if you know the name of the little boy who plays uh, Bam Bam, let me know. That, this is yeah. awesome. Come on. We all know how much you love the live action I mean, I would do show. Guitar, like the guitar, like the I don't want the video. You got, you got to get into the movie. It's a, it's a good movie. Like I'll, I'll, the sequel, I'll let you slide. But the, the original, come on. Alright, so I've already found something. Went through this um, this pile of, of Disney and other animated figures. I found a, Fra a Francis from uh, from A Bug's Life. That is awesome. I, I, I love it. Is it Pixar? It's a Disney Pixar movie, yeah. Well, I'm glad you knew at least that. You're... Said the woman who goes to Disney every like three weeks. It was so just the... in Disneyland. They I... used to have a Bug's Life land over there. Not there now, it's the galaxy thing. It's me. You're killing me, Smalls. You're, kill you're killing me. All right, so again, I'm picking up the uh, Francis here, which I paid only one dollar for. That's awesome. And now I'm looking through all the video games. I'm coming across this the Namco Museum for the GameCube for only four dollars. My son is a big fan of anything Pac Man, and he actually likes Dig Dug as well. I have one of those um, arcade one ups, and it has, it has Dig Dug on it, and he plays it all the time. So I'm thinking. I need to get this for him. We do have a Wii, and uh, the Wii does play GameCube games. So, all right, you know what? For, for four bucks, I'm buying my son a game. I guess I can say we have our first movies, or at least first TV show anyway. First first media. We've got some DVDs here of Family Guy. I, of course, had those. I I don't need them, but I'm hoping for some more, some more movies, <laughs> some more DVDs, some more Blu-rays, even VHS of this toy show. Although, to be honest, I, that, that's all I'm selling, so maybe I don't want to come up. I want to come across that because I want to buy some of it, but I don't want to come across it because I'd rather be the only person here selling that kind of stuff. So, you know, I don't know, D double edged sword. I mean, I am at a toy show, so I guess I should be buying toys, but um, yeah, I'm gonna have to pick these up as well. They got a Tiffany here, Funko Pop, that is awesome. And I'm loving this vinyl mation. They actually had like three different vinyl mations in here. There was that one, there was like a Mardi Gras one. These are these are pretty awesome. I love Disney vinyl mations. I'm tempted to grab both of these, but I kind of dig the the bubble one. I don't, I don't know. Something about the bubble vinylmation. I just, I just dig that. So, all right, I'm picking up more toys. They're, they're two for five dollars. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm buying a lot of toys today. I, is that, is that good? Is it? It looks good on the shelves. It's just, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a bad road to go down. But I'm, I'm doing it anyway. I absolutely cannot get into buying brand new stuff because then I'm not gonna want to open it up, and then it's then it's collecting at that point. But I love this leatherhead. That is, that is pretty awesome. I used to have this back in the day. I think this is like a reissue, though. I don't think it's the original, but still, that yeah, it's not. Says Nickelodeon. So it's the reissue of Leatherhead. But I used to have the same exact one. That is pretty awesome. Twenty bucks for that. But yeah, again, I just I can't go down the road of buying um, buying unopened things because I'm. The collector of me is like, no, then you can't open it. And then at that point, you need the whole and then at that point, you need the whole one is the gateway to lots. Yeah, so let's, let's just walk away. <laughs> these are what I really don't need to get into, the reaction figures. I, I'm i actually a huge fan of these. I, I've kind of been like, I've been like tempted to start collecting the reaction figures, but I know that's a bad idea. These I, I would like keep carded. You like you like yeah. the grandpa? Are you a, are like you a the, Munchers fan? I, yeah, I love the Munchers. These are these are pretty awesome. Like all the look at all the Simpsons ones. These are so cool from uh, the McBain the McBain movie. These are so awesome. I'm digging them all. They got the Doctor like, Teeth electric. Like, what is it? <laughs> I mean, like okay. That. There's Run DMC. I I should really walk away from the reaction figures. I. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So this is the first convention I've been to since I started picking up toys and collectibles for, for shelves in the library. And I'm, I'm now thinking it was a bad idea. 
because I'm just, I mean, I'm seeing so much cool stuff. You're like, oh, this, this horror stuff. I'm loving the, the Funko Pops. There's an Elvira over here. I'm just, I'm seeing all kinds of little figures and collectibles and knickknacks and whatnot that would look amazing on my shelves in the library. I know. I should buy, I should buy them all? Buy one of each? Yeah, of course. I condone this. I gotta be good. Like, if it's, if it's over five bucks, I've just, I've got, I've got to walk away. I've got a feeling my son's gonna be the one really making out at this uh, convention because I'm, I'm picking up so much stuff for him. He's got the game, now he's getting this as well. This is awesome. The Super Mario, like what? No, not one up. This is a um, this is a pow power up mushroom. What do you call this? It's the mushroom that makes you big. The the big mushroom? I don't know. C comments comments down below. I'm guessing I'm gonna call it the power up mushroom. That is awesome. Two, only two dollars for this. Apparently, you put a battery in it and it makes like I'm guessing like the um, the power up noise or something. I don't know. It's not it's not working now. I need to replace the battery. But yeah, for two bucks, my son's getting this. And Patricia finally buys something. What is this? The Flintstones Wacky Inventions: How Things Work in the Modern Stone Age. That's actually awesome. They're asking what ten dollars on it, but you got it for only five. That's a heck of a deal. So, all right, breaking the uh, the Flintstones ice. I was tempted by the. Um, the Bushwhack Brothers over here, I, oh my gosh, I loved these guys back in the day, and I had these figures back in the day. They're only asking $10 for the pair, which is really tempting, but I'm gonna be good. I'll I'll think think about it and come back. I'll, I'll probably end up getting, getting them before the, the day is done, probably, yeah. I have never seen these before. They're Mighty Max plates. Look at that, there's Mighty Max, there's, um, that guy, the, the big muscly guy, what is his name? I honestly don't remember, and then it's, um, it's the, the big muscly guy, Mighty Max, and the um, the, the rooster guy, chicken thing. Well, what was his name? I don't remember any of the characters' names. Man, I used to love this show back in the day. And of course, the, the amazing toys, which are basically like Polly Pockets for, for boys. But man, I I love these. I have never seen the plate, cup, and, uh, and bowl set. That is amazing. I, again, what would I do with them? Nothing. That's what I would do with them. So I'm going to pass, but I, I want them. Look at this amazing bootleg Mario. That is awesome. Four hundred and fifty dollars for that. I, I don't even know what it is. Maybe a maybe a bank. Who knows? Look at the weird power ups there with the. the I guess that's supposed to be the fire flower and the, uh, the star and then the the power up mushroom, which which has a smiley face. That's that's cute. They also have puppet master toys and barnyard commandos. Man, I love barnyard commandos. There's some TMNT and I'm seeing a game case for for uh, Nintendo and. Bart Simpson banks and whatever this three-headed dragon thing is and toys. Why did I start buying these things again? So far, I'm just coming across like little pockets of movies. Here's um, some Charlie Brown. This is actually pretty awesome. It's um, Snoopy's getting married, Charlie Brown, and it's three strikes Charlie Brown. I actually already have both of these. Do not need them at eight bucks. Pretty good deal for that. They also have some James Bond Jr. Who remembers that show? It's the James. Da -da -da. James Bond Jr. I oh my gosh, I love this show. I actually have some of that on VHS. I kind of want the um, the Jaws. That is awesome. But again, I just I gotta be good. It's it's it hasn't been opened. If I buy it, I'm gonna keep it sealed, and then that's just a terrible idea. And oh my gosh, there is a ridiculous amount of Pee Wee's Playhouse stuff here. I mean, we got Cherry and Terry and and what are you? You freaked me out there for a second. I get what you're doing, but you scared the. Heck out of me. Look at all this stuff. There's a, there's a play set and Pee Wee and a scooter. Again, cherry and I love the cherry. There's a there's a yo-yo and oh my gosh. Just walk away, Dave. Just just walk away. Unless you find something that opens and then for like five bucks or less, and then you then you buy it for yourselves. I would assume he has a name, but I have no idea what it is. This is the like gangster guy from the Looney Tunes cartoons, right? Am I am I right or am I wrong about that? Leave a comment down below. What is his name? This is kind of awesome. See, this is this is what I want on a shelf in the library because it's so weird and obscure, not really a character you think of very often. This is pretty awesome. I don't know. I'm I'm tempted to pick him up. I don't know what they're asking on him. That is that is tempting. How much is your uh, figure here? Oh, sorry. That's there. There's there's down. Wait, 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 wait down there. Maybe I'll get this. Although, Patricia, I'm thinking you need the punky Brewster oh, shoes yes. that are weird and and sticky and, oh, they're sticky oh, inside. Ah, oh, it's just, oh, just let me, ugh. Ew, my hand's still sticky now. All right, so the uh, the guy with the gangster Looney Tunes figure, again, what's his name? I have no idea. He um, he knows what he has. He's asking, he's asking some decent prices for his stuff. Look at this. They have a Fred Flintstone vinyl thing here, but it's... Too, it's too vintage for Patricia. Like what? I 
I'm probably uh, 19, six, 1960. I'm 80s anymore. I mean... Uh, it looks like what? What? Like I'm sorry. What? All right. What? Whatever. So this guy actually has a lot of really cool things. It's really tempting. He's all kinds of video games, and some of these I don't have. And I'm seeing like Luigi's Mansion down there, which my son would love. But I'm gonna this pass on that. Snorks. Snork. That my one there. Favorite. What are they asking on it? Timba. Maybe they would do five. Maybe. I mean, you should, you should ask. No. I mean, what's the what's the worst that happens? Jake the Snake party bags. There's a lot of cool stuff here, but I got the guy knows what he has. He's he's asking interesting prices, so. I'm just going to pass. I'm finding a whole bunch of Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games, but I want to say I've actually looked through all these multiple times. I think everything in here I pretty much either already own or it's just stuff that maybe is a little bit out of my price range because I usually don't try to pay more than they'd be like $5 for a game or if it's something really good, like for instance, Bionic Commando. That's awesome when they ask it on that. $24. I actually already have this. I don't need it, but I'd pay like 10 bucks for Bionic Commando if I did not already have it. But I want to say, yeah, pretty much everything else in here is either like an import or it's just a, it's a game I already have or just a little bit out of my price range. So cool, cool stuff, cool, cool Game Boy games. But again, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm passing. I'm being, I'm being picky and I'm being selective, which is probably a good thing because, um, I don't know. I'm at, a, I'm at a toy show. I need to be picky and selective. This is pretty much what I've been seeing everywhere. Just one DVD here, one DVD there, one VHS here, one VHS there. Just these little pockets of movies, but nothing really all that obscure or really anything all that interesting. Just stuff I, I have very, very common things. So unless somebody else who maybe possibly just happens to have a whole bunch of movies is over here or maybe out in the hall. I don't know. I'm thinking it might be a bus for movies today. Although again, the good news is that that's the only thing I'm selling. So I might be the only one here just selling nothing but movies. So I'm hoping... When I get back to my table, I've made a ton of money. I, I hope so that I can then spend that money on toys. Oh, now I'm finding Kim Possible figures. These are awesome. I actually have a Kim Possible Wacky Wobbler in my collection. Or, oh, my, am I calling my toys a collection now? Oh, no, 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 no. In my, in my decor, in my library decor, I have, a, I have a Kim Possible Wacky Wobbler. But the action figures are really awesome. They still talk, too. See, these are tempting, but again, they're in box. I would want to open them up. That's a bad idea. He also has Game Boy games here, too. I actually have pretty much all these, but I don't have Sneaky Snakes. I've never even heard of Sneaky Snakes before. I don't know. It's it's $12. It's for a game I've never heard of, so I'm, I'm going to pass. This is the point where everybody leaves comments down below. Sneaky Snakes! The game's amazing! So cool. It's worth, like, $50,000. You passed on it for 12 You're an idiot! What console does that play on? What? A why are we why are we friends i know Nintendo. Yeah, I, don't. I don't know either oh my god patricia's killing me look at this they have some more live action flintstones figures they got barney they got fred and they got licking licking dino sorry licking licking dino but lick sorry i'm gonna call it licking dino he is cute right He's cute. come on you're telling me you don't want the licking dino with the the pork chop or whatever that is and the bones and the, and the bowl come on how awesome is that yeah. I don't know what they're asking on the. Oh, look at all. There's a lot. lot. There's a lot of figures. Oh shoot! You need. We actually saw him. The I want the, the evil Cliff Vanderkate. Oh, we saw him shoot. earlier. I have that. <laughs> that I was, didn't know that was that, part of the movie. That was close. I. Have, you, ooh, you. I did not know you that. You have a bit of live action in your. I did not. I learned something new today. Oh. Today. Well, actually, we already know you have live action in I your uh, the collection. Hmm. Because of because of me. Oh, I thought that. Oh, okay. Sorry. What? 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 Eyes up here. I, eyes up here. I want this. No. If you come across this, I want the saber tooth part. The saber tooth, 5,000? 5,000, yeah. I need that. I don't have that. Oh, now this is the kind of thing I need to stay away from. Monkeys memorabilia. Look at this. It's a monkey's tambourine. I could be just, just like Davy Jones, although I need like a tambourine and like 15 maracas in my hands all at the same time. I mean, this, this is awesome. $125 for that. That's, that's so cool, though. That's amazing. See, if I, if I had my giant mansion... I could have the room for my movies, the room for my just just Star Wars Episode One stuff. I could have my Figment collection, my Spicer collection, and I could do a Monkeys collection as well. I just need to become rich, win the lottery, lottery. Just become a millionaire. If I could just if I could just make that happen. You, you gotta play the win. Do you, do you play? I don't. I don't play the lottery. lottery I mean, <laughs> what if you bought me a lottery ticket and I literally became a millionaire? Would you be upset at me? I'd give you like five or fifteen dollars. Not a what? All right, 20, 20 bucks, 20, no. 20 dollars, and all the live a, and all the live action Flintstone toys you can get your hands on. Yeah, no, that was
Again, little pockets of movies. Here's um, Roger Rabbit and Judge Dredd. Still brand new factory sealed. Honestly, the Roger Rabbit brand new factory sealed is pretty awesome. I don't need that though. I, I see like it's tempting. What would I do with it? I, I don't need that. Rocky and Bullwinkle, Demolition Man, Care Bears, here's some Yu-Gi-Oh! And ooh, kids, kids look away. The infamous uh, Little Mermaid VHS that uh, was not was not recalled. Just they just re-released it. But anyway, so it's not super rare. It's pretty awesome. Though. I actually have one of these brand new factories sealed. I don't need that. They've got some Power Rangers and just things I, more things I don't, I don't need. All right, guys. So I think that's just about going to do it for the uh, toy show. All in all, not bad. Found some interesting things. Patricia found herself some Flintstones. And um, how's Manning the Booth going, John? John's been over here. We manning manning the booth he holds it. It's, no. It was like, that was like, what, four hours of, no, of thrifting? not as long as Chris. <laughs> <laughs> that, I remember that day. Chris ridiculous. was just like... It's like three hours. Did you make me some money? I believe so. Good, because I, I, sp I spent some money, so. Spend there are four lines with my handwriting. Ooh, nice. Yeah. All right, so yeah. I'm, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I made some money because I, I spent some. I didn't spend too much. I didn't go too crazy. Unfortunately, no, like, real movies to, to find you. The, oh, only, the, the only person with movies is, is this guy right here. This guy has a ton know, of movies. I, you know, I come prepared, but obviously, <laughs> in my Vanabelle, it's a great van. Um, I didn't drive though. My chaperone, my chauffeur hey, here, here, you know, does a wonderful job. He even decked out the van for me. It only cost him twenty six thousand dollars to pay him to do it. I mean, and then the cost of the actual van cost more than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. It wasn't that much. All right, so anyway, guys, with that, we are done. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, check down below links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also, check down below for my second channel, Retro Rest Stop for Daily Adventures, and check down below for a link to... Vincent's fan on Instagram. And check down below for a link to... I'm John. Some of the bulls on Instagram. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.